engineer Cassidy, who is always here with us. This program is broadcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this time on the number one station at Styles FM. Good evening, Mr. Chambers. Good evening. How are you doing? And good evening, listeners. I'm doing great. Great. I want to say thanks to uh, our kind sponsors, uh, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, Braham's Texaco, Task Property Appraisals, Company Limited, bringing quality service to life. Also, my sponsor, MT Landscaping Services. And of course, he is located at Francis Lewis Boulevard, Queens, New York. And to get to uh, MT Landscaping Services for the best in um, scrap metal cleaning and everything that you can think of, you can call MT at 347-840-4623. Of course, we have our contributors, Errol Barnes from Baltimore, USA, Sadie from your castle, and of course, Toy and Neil Shop Number 6, Rosemary Plaza, Mort Bay, St. Thomas. Uh, you can get her at 876-426-5066. So, now that we've got that little bit of business out of the way, Mr. Chambers, what's up? I am good. Um, I, I see that I've now been tagged. I am being tagged too. Mm -hmm. um, before we get it back into child pornography, mm -hmm. I, I like the little thing that you have started. What's happening with 80 Prime Minister? Well, the Asian Prime Minister has decided he's not resigning, so that has deepened. That has now deepened the... What should I say? The tension yes. that is there now. But, you know, what I've noticed, is there, any, is there any Asian president that has served out their full term? No. It, it, it's almost no. like a revolving door, eh? It is. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm, I'm, I, isn't this, though, a case that persons, because if he is, um, they are investigating him, for certain things and he has decided that he's not going to resign mm -hmm. he's not stepping down right um is this where we could enter no confidence motion or I, I you know i don't know how the laws of 80 or the legislature right the arms of government are set up in 80 it's not something that i've really researched okay but it is unfortunate though that we are here so quickly on the heels of a former president having resigned. Yes. And right here again <coughs> with another president resigning um, in Haiti. Mm -hmm. I really think that perhaps CARICOM needs to give a little more assistance to Haiti to get it stable. I think so too. Um, historically, it is, it is the country that set the pace for a lot of um, Caribbean governments mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to self-govern themselves. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, I really wonder if perhaps Karakum can could assist lend a little lend a little more assistance because it's really unfortunate. You know, it was <coughs> when I I went to the states the other day that somebody actually showed me Mr. Chambers the beauty of Haiti mm -hmm. because we are used to seeing the the rundown, dilapidated condition of the very very poor persons mm -hmm. and the the, the cas catastrophes that hit them and so on but it in fact is a beautiful place it is with it, it is. has richness there and so it i guess it's it, it's all about the media in showing persons the poorest of the poor well you see it it is one it is a reflection of the concerted effort and i say this without apology it is i believe a part of the concerted effort to keep in poverty. I think so too. Yes. And if you, uh, and, and I will say this, the history bears it out because from the moment the Haitians took independence, they were slapped with this huge bill to pay back to European, European countries. Yes. Yes. European government. And I cannot, un uh, and for me, I cannot understand why they are even paying it back. <sighs> Yeah, you see, so historically, Haiti has been deprived of the ability, ability to, to yeah. grow. Yes. Yes, and it has not, no, I believe that it has so drained their potential to grow that it is going to be very difficult for them to get back on their feet. It's stagnant. Yes, it is. Um, it, it's unfortunate. And I believe that the corruption also is a part of the problem there in Haiti. Mm -hmm. um, something that really needs to be addressed if, if they are going to. But, but one of the questions that we asked, Mr. Mr. Chambers, is mm -hmm. that Jamaica is played.
plagued by the trading, mm -hmm. the gun for drugs trade. And I've always said, I don't know their history, really know it. But where Haiti would get so much arms, where they get so much guns? <coughs> we have some wonderful neighbors to the north <laughs> who um, assist us. Mm -hmm. And some assistance we perhaps should do or want. Yes, yes. 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 Um, it is a fact. As a matter of fact, something came out the other day. In, in, um, I was reading it. Mm -hmm. I think it was in um, the papers mm -hmm. that there was some concern about the freedom with which firearms move about in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and the potential impact it can have on developing countries in the Caribbean, particularly Jamaica, mm -hmm. because. The truth on the mat the, of the matter is a lot of these firearms come in from developed countries. <laughs> so, yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Um, and if we are going to stem that tide of firearm coming into our country, we have to deal with its origination. And where it is originating, they have no intention, it appears, to Just, put yeah. any kind of Measures. logical yes. and sensible restrictions on the movement and possession of firearms. It's sad. It is really sad. And every single year, you have at least two horrible incidences of gun, incident of con, gun violence in the U.S. And nothing is being done to restrict the movement Multiple and possession killings. of firearms. Illegal possession of firearms. It's just, it, 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 it's something that just doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I, one thing I can say, though, in, uh, in, as I sit here, as a CMC president, Mr. Moyes decided that he's not going to resign, and they have street protests in Haiti. I'm asking the Haitians to stay over there. Mm -hmm. Because every little thing happened, they <laughs> pack up in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> because we are the closest. Yes, stay over there. It's easy to come here, you know. Please. Back in the days, we normally, you know, accommodate. But since we realize that, you know, persons, stay over there. Let's try sort it out over there. We're not saying that we're inhumane, but stay over there. Because it, there's but, you know, as we talk about that, and I know we are, we are almost finished with our commentary. Mm -hmm. You don't find it strange. That 80 is just a few minutes up the road. Yes. And there is no good connection no. between Jamaica and Haiti. And 80. I don't know. None. And when you go to some of these developed countries, you see the massive bridge where they yes. have over connecting, yes. connecting um, yeah. land masses in some mm. of these countries. Miles and that is miles true. and miles of a bridge, you know. That is true. And we are so close. Cayman... You name it, Cuba, Cuba, Haiti, and we have no because, good you know, direct connection. Cuba is actually 90 miles from here, you it know. Is, I just don't understand. That, somebody told me, I've never, never seen it for myself, but they say when the reef, if the, when the reef is very low, you can actually stay somewhere in Saint, um, out there in Manchinil and, mm -hmm. and look and see, see the horizon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't doubt them because 90 miles on a street is nothing for you to. I believe it is a failure of CARICOM yes. and Caribbean nations mm -hmm. to come together, bargain from a position of strength, mm -hmm. to come together to create common single markets. It is a failure to come together to create a common security plan mm -hmm. to deal with our, our realities yes. here in the Caribbean. Yes. It is a failure on our part. It is. Yes, Let me just quickly just update you that the um the the, the 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 retired superintendent of police, deputy superintendent, um the, it it actually get worse because his son now, mm -hmm. um it was re, um re reported to the children's advocacy mm -hmm. that he has also been um affected mm -hmm. by the pepper spray yeah, because they were saying he has uh, asthma or yes something, some respir and respirator so there is an active lawsuit now mm -hmm. but they, um they have sued the attorney general because mm -hmm. persons would have not known that if a police do anything you can't sue the police per, per se, se um while well, he's in active duty in the suit definitely as an agent of and the so state. and mm -hmm. finally while we talk about guns and 80 mr chambers it is we continue to have bloodletting in Jamaica. Four persons were three, um, four shot, three fatal in Saint, um, in Saint Andrew Home Invasion, 
um, today. We need more police officers. And, and you know, the other day I hear it was, it's only 2,000 odd police officers. Yeah, man, it is. But what persons I don't understand <laughs> is that the attrition rate for police is so high, Mr. Chambers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, it's, it, if it is spoken about enough. Mm -hmm. And so when you, you have, a have a strainer and you throw water in it, but you leak out down at the bottom. Police and, and nurse. And exactly. Police and and nurse. so the attrition rate and any country throughout the world if you leave and say you're a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, you're mm -hmm. going to be employed by them mm -hmm. because our training is top class training. Mm -hmm. Our police officers at purses do not rate here. Anywhere they go, they are put in good positions. In, it therefore means that we need to find a way to retain the best and brightest minds in our police force and in our nursing health sector. and they get out as it, they get training mr Ch and mr chambers and um <coughs> they, they go to bam and go to the get a get like a visa and they go away they're not coming back because and so we train them and, and why is it why, why is that why is that a lot of reasons what we have to do is make it attractive precisely and that it is, is not the problem and it is it not. is too unattractive even when police when negotiate you spend your money and you get your little education and your first oh, degree God, and that sort of thing and you're on your way getting your master's and still realize say, your pay not reflecting yes the qualification that we think is going to happen it does and i and i can tell him mr chambers that if you train 2000 remember you have people going on retirement yes you remember you have pe people you know that is getting in trouble and is on suspension mm -hmm. and so on and so forth mm -hmm. and you also have persons that decide that listen i can't deal with this yes. may i cut mm -hmm. and so it doesn't matter how much you train if you don't make this job an attractive one You're even in them. wage negotiation mm -hmm. police should be taken no separate and apart. I say that unapologetically. Mm -hmm. The job we have is extremely stressful. Mr. Chambers, our job is stressful. Like they are saying, the research and say that after we have retired, it is really that we have a 10 year lifespan to live. Mm -hmm. That is what I've said, you know, because of the stress, stress of the job. Yes. After you retire at 60, our lifeline is supposed to be 10 years or less. Mm -hmm. And so that is a job, kind of job we have. Anyway. If we're going to secure our country properly, I think we need to retain the best and brightest minds. We need more officers on the ground. And therefore, we need more resources to be put into it. And the resources must make it more attractive. Thank you to, the, to your listeners mm -hmm. um, who have WhatsApp. Oh, Sadie, say good evening, DG and Mr. Chambers. Happy Father's Day when it is your... Your father, Mr. Chambers? No. But <laughs> say but I have a young man who will call me. First. Okay, okay. So your father, father figure. Father. No, man, you're yes. good then. So you're, yeah, man. Happy Father's Day. Of course, say you know, I'm a mother. I can't be a father. I am a very good mother to my boys, but I don't take on Father's Day. Although my sons give me a gift for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Carla from Maypen. Say good evening, DJ and Mr. Chambers. Of course, Kevoy from Sunny Hill St. Thomas. Say good evening, DJ and Mr. Chambers. I'm here taking in knowledge as usual. Thank you, Kevoy. Kevoy and Kemoy, good evening, DG and Mr. Chambers. Sunny Hill, St. Thomas, locked in, to, in the north of the law. Looking forward to an interesting discussion today. Thank you very much for being a part of the in the north of the law. So we child are pornography. discussing the Child Pornography Prevention Act. Mm -hmm. And on the last occasion, we had, I believe, stopped at Section 5. five so that's we're going correct. to review Section 5 and move from there. Mm -hmm. Subsection 1 of Section 5 says, subject to subsection 4, a person who knowingly possesses child pornography in circumstances other than those specified in Section 4.1d mm -hmm. commits an offense. Mm -hmm. Subject to section, subsection 4, a person who knowingly accesses any child pornography commits an offense. Mm -hmm. And subsection 3 says, For the purposes of subsection 2, a person accesses child pornography if that person causes child pornography to be viewed by or otherwise read, heard, or transmitted to that person that person no person shall be liable for an offense under this section if that person shows that A. He has not seen read or listened to the child pornography concern and had no reasonable cause to suspect that he was in possession of it or had accessed it. So you know that's when you, you, um, the message coming on your phone. Mm -hmm. But 
cyberspace can kind of know whether you're, you're I'd open it mm -hmm. or long you had it for mm -hmm. and so on and so yes. forth right upon having reason to suspect that he had come in possession of or access child pornography he promptly took reasonable steps to avoid remove or destroy the child pornography or report the matter to the child register the children register in accordance with the provisions of the child care and protection act or a member of the jamaica constabulary force and allowed access to the child's pornography for the purpose of the enforcement of this act or any other law or mm -hmm. see he possessed the child pornography concern for the purpose of a bona fide educational scientific legal or medical research and about to work on a market now and when we find a pair of photos say they're going to teach somebody about it now let, let me break it down listeners let's break it down you see because social media mm -hmm. has exploded in a way over the last 10 years that i don't I, I don't think any country i don't think any household i don't think any region i don't even think some continent mm -hmm. prepared was prepared no for the way social media has take off exploded mm -hmm. yes and i believe europe the european union has been the leader i don't know if there are other countries and so don't i i, I won't limit myself to say that only europe does it mm -hmm. but i know for a fact that europe has taken a lot of stride mm -hmm. to control social yeah social media, media. Yes, um, the and China other day too. They're calling Google. China too. Yes, China. Mm -hmm. I, yes. I'm not sure mm -hmm. about what China has done, but I know Europe has sanctioned Google. They have mm -hmm. sanctioned Facebook. Mm -hmm. They have called in all of these large tech giants. Mm -hmm. Yes, and call them in about their practices, mm -hmm. social media practices. So, um, what you find is that a lot of even these youngsters nowadays, from the reach both three or so. They have all kind of oh, phones yes. with access to the internet and the phone. Can, they can teach you more about the phone than oh, yes. you can do. This is the reason parents, must. adults, mm -hmm. must monitor the phone of children. Mm -hmm. For this reason. Because let me tell you something. If the child has reached the age of criminal liability, yes, and it depends on them phone, Go on. the police can draw them in. Don't bother believe that because the child is 13, 14, 15, they're going to escape this legislation. No, no. And parents, adults, and guardians of children, let me tell you something. If anybody has it on their phone, it is these teenagers. Trust me. They have it. You hear me? I want and so we have to monitor the phone. I want to tell the parents something quickly, a little secret that I learned. When the computer and the phone is open, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chambers, you will pass and see they're watching Tom and Jerry. Mm -hmm. and a, but it's a split screen. Mm -hmm. So when you coming past them, it's one top mm -hmm. and it flick over to Tom and Jerry. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you move, they flip back to what they were original, mm -hmm. what, uh, originally watching. So you must be able to access the, the, the history. Okay. You understand? Anybody who wouldn't give a key for your house, not supposed to have a password for any gadget into your house. <laughs> you know, you know, as, as I saw that, you know what one person said to me one day mm -hmm. when I decided to again lock my door mm -hmm. because I don't want her to come in. Miss Fleming said, well, since this is my house mm -hmm. and you feel you can lock the door, you know what I can do? Take it off. <laughs> yes, sir. You understand what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. No child should. And, mm -hmm. and it happens so much. Yeah. Children have their phones and the parents can't access it because they have password. No children no. in my no. house can have a password to a phone that I can't access or to the laptop. Person with a oh, 0669 number at the end say good evening to you. Good evening to you too, listener. Thank you very much for because tuning in. Because I want to know if my child is going to be in problems under this legislation. Exactly. exactly. And then you see what it says, what you read, um, DJ, it says that it says up here, you see, the viewing. Is yes. the viewing is the yes. problem, you know? Yes. For the purpose of section two, a person accesses child pornography. If that person causes child pornography to be viewed, viewed. by mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So they start with the viewing. Mm -hmm. They move on. Red. So it's not only images, you know, folks. Mm -mm. It's the reading of child pornography. And there are websites, folks, that have child pornography stories. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying to you? So, viewed by or otherwise read, heard. So don't bother things so because, oh, there is no viewing. There is no word. It's just listening and listening and escape. You're not going to escape. Mm -mm. Because if you hear it or transmit it, Two. Two, yeah. So if you go on a website and put in whatever you need to put in, sign up so that it can come to you, yes? <laughs> You're going to be in problems. <laughs> and that is uh, why I say, folks, adults, you're adults, you know. So if you want to put yourself in trouble, that's your problem. They say, um, you have to stand on your own feet. Children, parents, but have a, children, they have a right, but right, come must responsibility. be protected from the possibility of finding themselves on the wrong side of the law. Even if the pitney are 17, mm -hmm. they don't reach 18 yet. You must check the phone because they will be in trouble. And if you are an adult and you know. So you're viewing it, you're reading it, you're hearing it, you're listening to it, are you causing it to be transmitted to you? Tap. Because it will catch up with you. With you yep. Why, why would anybody want to read that? Because, because persons are literate. Because persons are of a perverted nature, Mr. Chambers, and, and, and simple things turn on people. And have them going. If you want to be a part of this program, you can WhatsApp us at 876-453-1444. If you have a question or a suggestion, that's 876-453-1444. If you're overseas or wherever you are, I'm quite sure nobody's listening from Portland today. I've seen people from St. Thomas. I know nobody's listening from St. Mary. And I'm quite sure nobody's listening from St. Anne. We can't say that, Mr. Chairman. Nobody in here. I thought, oh boy. On the on, on, on Facebook Live, yes. the engineer can tell us if we have anybody from from any of those areas that. Tell you find something. Let me see how the same can read it. From Saint Mary, you see anybody from Saint Mary? Oh, Saint uh, Anne. <laughs> yeah, get back. I get back. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, if you are viewing, good evening to everyone on, on the Facebook Live. Um, if you are viewing from Saint Mary, Saint Anne. Um, Portland, I see a lot Clarendon. of St. Thomas people. Clar may, may, may I see there? St. Catherine. I get that job, you know, Clarendon Clark is out there? Yes, Carla right. is from Clarendon, so mm -hmm. she represents um, the United States of America, UK, Canada, 876 453 1444. can send your comments or your questions and we will assist you and now, as best as possible. It says, subsection 5 says, mm -hmm. a person who commits an offense under subsection 1, and subsection 1 speaks to, or let two. me remind mm -hmm. you. Section 1 or 2, mm -hmm. it says, Section 1 deals with knowingly possessing the child pornography, or, and sub subsection 2 speaks to knowingly accessing hmm. child pornography. So if a person commits an offense under subsection 1 or 2, he shall be liable upon conviction on indictment before a circuit court to a fine or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding eight years. Yeah. Or to both such fine and imprisonment. Erin from Calgary in Canada say I'm here. Um, Irby Jones from Armony Vale in St. Anne's Bay is actually listening to us live from St. Anne's Bay. Good evening, Irby. And also see somebody there from Portland. Oh, Portland listening man. I don't get her name, but I see a female. She said, Portland here, and she put a smiley face. Uh, it's a 7736 number. Oh, people from Portland listening, man. Come with you, feel like nobody else is in All right, so Portland represent, and uh, Orion from Calgary in Canada. Him say, I'm a um, fan fusion. Um, Orion from Calgary, coming to fan fusion. Well, Orion, I have been told that I am formally a part of the styles fm yes. family and so i have to be at fan, fan fusion yes so i will be there and i hope that most of our listeners if will be there all, oh she said she's from saint Mary. this person said they, oh oh that person said they are from saint Mary. so saint Mary represent too and since if i'm a john town up there so we still want to know me mean i said the prison and fix up fix up he's also dear to sense from john town say 
is a sense to me. I'm going to tell you off the ear what it means. Mm -hmm. Saskia Sinclair on the Styles of Femme um, page. Thank you very much, Saskia. Um, Saskia, Saskia Sinclair. The beautiful Saskia Sinclair is on there. All right, so Annie from Dawkins, Anna from Dockenfield. Guess what they want this one? What may I like to say? What may I Hold on, let me do it again. John Stone, not John Stone. Oh, John Stone. Because of self art. So Annie from Duckensfield said, good evening. Have you guys seen the video of the lady who was show, showing the video of the elderly gentleman assaulting the baby girl, but she was trying to reach out to people to catch the man? Can she be in trouble with the law? No, I did not see the video. Video of what? All right. She say, have you seen the... Have you seen the video of the lady who was showing the video of the elderly gentleman assaulting a baby girl, but she was trying to reach out to people to catch the man? Can she be in trouble? All right, I understand what she said, Mr. Chambers. So the lady witnessed something, video it and send it out mm -hmm. to see if people can recognize. It is safe for Anna. And that is not under the, uh, well, I don't know what kind of assault child it was. Protection Act, depending right. on the assault. Remember, when we did the Child Care and Protection Act, we had indicated that Every adult has a responsibility to report any um, abuse of children. Right. So I suppose that's what he's speaking. Speak, maybe speaking about. But no, if you can catch the act, the offense being committed, and move to the police with No, it, that's not what know? she's asking. What? what she's saying is that she videoed a person mm -hmm. and sent it out with the hope that somebody recognized the person's face. The act? The, yes. Perhaps one of those acts that under this uh, yes. legislation here, I wouldn't send it to I anybody. would send it out. She said that the, the person sent it out with the intention for somebody mm -hmm. to n recognize. But no, take it to the police. Even if I you video it, it take it to the police immediately. And they will know how to still picture, still, uh, are you going to do it? And, mm, and get a picture. Know what to they, do will, they will know what to do the video. So what they will do is they won't actually send out the video. But they will actually get a still picture of the person so they can send it out. Big up Del Del and Sir Chambers, Portland checking in. Big up myself, Georgette, oh, all the way from down here in Buff Bay, Georgette and Constable Asak. Big up myself down there. All right, um, a lot of us are listening <laughs> right now. Dave here. Please let DG know. <laughs> So, <laughs> before DG faint on me in here, come oh people, God. let DG know that Portland you're listening. here. Big up myself, yeah, Dave. Thank you very much for telling me that you're listening from Portland. How about us, we Portland people don't listen to styles. You understand? All right. So, Noreen, yes, the person better, um, instead of sending out the video to the public, Noreen, it is better for the person to take the video to the police. But that's the distribution, you know, that's the very... Exactly. That's about. what we're talking about. And you have a defense. Noreen, let, let us talk about the defense again. Mm -hmm. Yes? So, your defense is no person shall be liable for an offense under this section if that person shows that he had not seen, mm -hmm. read, or listen to the child pornography concern and had no reasonable cause to suspect that it was in his possession. Don't apply in this situation. Right. Upon having reason to suspect that he had come into possession of mm -hmm. or accessed child pornography, he promptly took, took reasonable I. steps to avoid, remove, or destroy the porn the pornography or report it. This is her where she This is where the, yes. Report the matter to the member, to a member of the Jamaica or Tabler Force and allowed access to the child pornography for the purposes of the enforcement of this act or any other law. Or the children registry yes. in accordance to the provisions of child care. Then she has a defense. Right. But if she's going to send, send it, it out to all our Facebook. friends, then... No. No, don't do that. No. That's distribution. Because what you do, you know, is to destroy the child further. You know, yes, trauma. You understand? Yes. So this child was abused by this man, and you sending out this child out there is going to damage the child further. That's Norbert true. Seaton, say a lovely program, my friend, and he's on the Styles of Fame. Um, Thank you very much. Da 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 da. Me did tell her this if we do a watch party, right? I did it. That's what I'm doing now. So I don't know what you, why you're not seeing anything. I don't know. Because I me, me see two persons come in and watch. Come in and I can't get to see the style thing because it's way over there. So what I did, I watch party and I saw a person's commenting. All right. All right. Um, let us go to section six. All right. So section six says. All right, um, subsection 
subject to subsection 2, I remember Mr. Chamber just told her what subsection 2 says, where a body corporate commits an offense under this act. So you like a company now. Company we're talking right. about now, yes. Every director, manager, secretary of the body corporate or other similar officer concerning the management of the body corporate is liable on conviction on an indictment before a circuit court to a fine or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 20 years or to both such fine and imprisonment. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about company now. No. Companies now, yeah. Everybody in the management team is, go, is going is our, as a responsibility. Is going to go down for it. Yes. Let's just put it in name and language. Exactly. Yes. So, so the director, mm -hmm. the manager, mm -hmm. the secretary, mm -hmm. or other similar officer concerned, mm -hmm. all of them going. Yes. Of a body court shall not be liable by virtue of section one for any mm -hmm. offense under this act, unless the court is satisfied. So this is where they get off now. Right. So subsection two says the director, the manager, the secretary, or any other officer concerned with the ma management of the body corporate shall not be liable by virtue of subsection 1 for an offense under this act mm -hmm. unless the court is satisfied that the offense was committed with his connivance. Mm -hmm. oh, a long time in a year that you know. <laughs> Just so conniving. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yes. So unless it, the offense was committed with his connivance mm -hmm. or he had not exercised all due diligence to prevent the commission of the offense having regard to the nature of functions in that capacity and to all so all those officers mentioned mm -hmm. director secretary and manager they have a responsibility to exercise all due diligence yes and when we say due diligence to put in measures in place to ensure that the company does not possess distribute yes mm -hmm. or access child pornography yes so they mm -hmm. must make sure that those things are in place and subsection 3 says, a body corporate which commits an offense under this act is liable on conviction and indictment before a circuit so court to, to a, a fine. fine. So they're going to drop the, 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 the gauntlet, mm -hmm. the, 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 the gavel yes. on, the, on, the body, on the company Lenky, and find them. Lenky from, um, Lenky from Port Marant, St. Thomas. So good evening, DG and Mr. Chamber. Big of yourself, Lenky. Miss Winsome. Winsome out of bar than Portland, listen to your boat. Bless of yourself, Winsome out of bar. What, what, what's that? Bar, Bourbon? Portland. Bourbon, Portland, listen to you. Bless of yourself. And thanks very much. All right. A person who receives a financial or other benefit, knowing that it results from an offense under Section 3 or Section 4. I remind you what Section 3 and Section 4 spoke mm -hmm. about. So, Section 3. <coughs> section 3 spoke about the distribution, the production. Um, section 4 spoke about uh, the possessing, knowing the possess and distribute, yes? Mm -hmm. Good. So it's saying that a person who receives a financial or other benefit, knowing it results from an offense under Section 3 or 4, commits an offense and is liable and cut. So, mm -hmm. me send it to you and you give me your money. You derive a benefit from it. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. Or I can blackmail you. Yes. So if you not send something to me, you see, if you make me keep this down, mm -hmm. again, send it everywhere. I may not send it to you and you send it everywhere. Yeah. Or I say, I pay the money now and you say, all right, make me delete it. You derive a benefit. Yeah, benefit from okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, commits an offense and is liable on conviction and indictment before a circuit court to a fine or, or imprisonment. to imprisonment for a term not exceeding. 20, 20 years. years or to both such fine and, and imprisonment. imprisonment. Is how right? serious it is? It is that serious, folks. So you do, don't, don't even bother think but you're going to make some money off it. Mm -mm. Don't bother mm -mm. with it. Mm -mm. No, we are justice of the peace is satisfied. No, do you hear this now? A <laughs> justice of the peace can. Mm -hmm. A justice of the peace can act here, you know. Mm -hmm. Where justice of the peace is satisfied by information on oath. But and such further seizure. information as he may in the circumstances require. That there are reasonable grounds mm -hmm. for suspecting that evidence of or relating to an offense under this act is to be found on any premises in the information. He may issue a warrant. In accordance with subsection 2. 
Yep. So a JP can issue yep. a warrant if yep. the JP is of the view yeah. that an offence is being committed under this act. Yes. Good. A warrant issued under this section may authorise a constable named therein with such assistance as is reasonably necessary and by the use of reasonable force to enter upon the premises specified in the warrant to search, search the, the premises, premises for evidence of or relating to an offence under the this act, act and... and Seize property found in the course of the search that the constable believes are reasonable grounds to be evidence of or relating to an offence under this act. And a warrant issued, subsection 3, says a warrant issued under this section shall include a statement of the purpose. So, folks, we are about educating. So, let, me edu let us educate. Mm -hmm. So, if the police show up with a warrant... To search your place in relation to this act, this is what you must look for. Mm -hmm. It must have a statement of the purpose for which the warrant is issued yes. and a description of the offense. It, so it must say what it is that the, what the offense is that the police is on your property mm -hmm. to do this search mm -hmm. about. A description of the kind of property to be seized. So it must say what it is that they want to seize. Computer they can phone. just come and just no. seize so and they don't have it on it. Mm -mm. And if any officer come to yard and these things are not on it, folks, under this act, tell the officer, say, you're not coming in here. And please are asking, you know, while Mr. Chambers is, is, is encouraging you to do the right thing, please just don't start to... Blah, 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 blah. Do it with respect. With, read and see to it that it is not on yeah, it. First. And let them know that you have your right, sir. This is not on it. And I so learn I on le in the, okay. the law that these are the things that must be on it. Exactly. And it is not there. So this is not a valid warrant. You're not coming through my door. Say it with authority, mm -hmm. but be respectful. No matter You understand? Um, a reference to the time yes. not being later than 14 days upon the expiration of which the warrant ceases to have effect. So it must have a reference to a time. Yes. Yes? Good. A statement as to whether entry is authorized to be made at any time of the day or night or during the hours of the day or night specified therein. Mm -hmm. So it must have these things, things on it. Mm -hmm. And for the purposes of this section, an offense under this act refers to an offense which has been, is being, or is about to be coming. Now, let us be very clear <laughs> on that. Right? So if the officer come and all of these things is in there and you say to the officer... And the officer says, we are of the view that an offense under this act is about to be yes. committed. Don't go tell the officer, say, but you can't come in here for what may happen. No, the officer has a right once the warrant is in, is in order. If they are of the view, mm -hmm. given this warrant under the view that an offense is about to be committed. Section 8, subsection 4. All right, so mm -hmm. don't bother flare up on the officer to say, but your bright team, what you mean by is about to? They have the, the right. Specified All that. right, mm -hmm. under the act, section nine. Section nine says, subsec subject to section, subsection two and three, and I'll just explain that was two and three down here. Right, the mm -hmm. court before which a person is convicted of an offense under this act may, upon the application of the director of public prosecutions, made an order for the forfeiture of anything used in the commission of the offense. So, the DPP can make an application to seize the phone, the laptop, or any other device on which they book, magazine, any article in which they believe that the child pornography exists. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me, listeners? <laughs> the DPP can make the director of public prosecutions can make an application to seize the phone, to seize the laptop, to seize any book, mm -hmm. to seize any article, to seize any kind of device or equipment that may have stored thereon or have contained therein mm -hmm. any child pornography. pornography. Good. Where the court is satisfied that anything used in the commission of an offense, this is subsection 2, mm -hmm. under this act is child pornography, the court shall, this is what the court can do now, if the court is satisfied, mm -hmm. whether or not any person is convicted of the offense and instead of making an order under subsection 1, order that the thing concerned be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Burn it up, dash it away, mash it up, yes. 
That's what we mean when we say destroyed. The court can order that it be destroyed or otherwise disposed of in such a manner as the court may determine. Because the court is not into hugging up the pornography. Mm -mm. The court is into protecting the society. And so the court has the authority to destroy it. The item that the child pornography is contained in or contained on. Mr. Um, B from Lysa St. Thomas, thank you very much. You say you're presenting class. For the Salt FM persons on the Facebook Live, really want to say thanks. Dion um, Willis, a very informative program, Mr. Chambers. And uh, of course, we have Portland Image, Jason from Boston, Massachusetts, saying serious business. And Mr. Alston Lopez, all the way up there in Atlanta, Georgia, saying good evening. And of course, they listen on. We have Alston Green. Rohan is watching as well. Rupert is and watching. So somebody on your mm, Brad Wayne is watching. Sadie, seeing you there. Sadie. Is this the same Sadie? You're Sadie. Yes. Sadie. Um, she says, good evening, DJ and Mr. Chambers. Good evening, Sadie. Um, so, yes, we see that you all are watching. We thank you again. Mm -hmm. And for those who want to join, you can join on 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. Or you can go and find the stars facebook page and join <laughs> the watch party mm -hmm. and leave your comments section nine subsection three before making an order under subsection one or two the court shall give any person claiming to be the owner of the thing concerned the opportunity mm -hmm. to show cause why the order should not be made for it to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you come and tell the court why the laptop shouldn't be destroyed if you are the owner <laughs> of it. Yes, and you better be careful too. Yes, because what you say. Exactly, because <laughs> that simply means the contents mm -hmm. thereof belongs to you. You better be careful what you say too. Mm -hmm. Now, unless you can, you can get an, um, you have a defense on the section under Section 5. Yes, that's yes. right. Mm -hmm. Where the Director of Public Prosecution is unable to ascertain the owner of anything to which this section applies, he shall publish a notice in the daily newspaper circulating in Jamaica of his intention to apply for an order under Subsection 1, not unless not, not less, less than, than 14 days prior to the application. To the application. So, let me tell you. <laughs> They're going to make sure that they find the person, you know. Mm -hmm. To give you an opportunity to say why this laptop shouldn't be destroyed or why this phone shouldn't be destroyed or why this book shouldn't be destroyed. Within you know? 14 days. All right. 14 days of the application, they're mm -hmm. going to publish it in the paper. An order on a subsection 1 or 2 shall not take effect until 1, A, the time for instituting an appeal against the conviction and order concern has expired mm -hmm. or where an appeal referred to in paragraph A is instituted, the appeal has been finally Determined. Determined. Mm -hmm. It goes on, subsection 7 of, sub of section 9 says, where on the hearing of an application for an order under subsection 1, no person appears before the court to show cause, mm -hmm. as mentioned in subsection 3, the court shall presume that the thing concerned has been abandoned. abandoned. Yes. And so we can destroy it. All right? The defense of persons concerned in the enforcement of this act is outlined in section 10 mm. of this act it says a person carrying out duties in connection with the enforcement of this act shall not be liable for any offense under this act to the extent that a such person is acting in the course of those duties mm -hmm. and b the person's conduct is reasonable in the circumstances for the performance of these duties let me address right. the no. oh yes so if the police will have a spray has it on their phone mm -hmm. or has it on a laptop or whatever it is in furtherance of an investigation mm -hmm. or in the course of carrying out investigations, mm -hmm. they are exempted yes. from liability under this act. Yes, but mm -hmm. if it is not part of, the <laughs> investiga of an investigation mm -hmm. or it is not part of their duty, Officers, you're going to find yourself on the wrong side of the law, just like a civilian. 
And I can tell you now with the new case management system, if it is for an investigation, then the department, the police department is going to know. Mm -hmm. Because with the case management system, you don't have any case now hook up by yourself. So my case this. Mm -hmm. this the, 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 the organization knows about the cases that you have. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a case now, Mr. Chambers, and you resign, the case doesn't die there. Mm -hmm. Because it is now in the case management system. Right. So it can be reassigned to somebody. Right. So you can't have it on your phone and say, I didn't want case I may have and nobody know about it. Exactly. No. Or it could be that somebody carried a device to you and said, look here, as DG, see when me find you upon this thing here mm -hmm. and give it to you and you are on your way to the police station yes. with it. <laughs> or you are going to a particular area mm -hmm. to go and do some investigation. Because yes. you know some people confide in some police Yes, officers. definitely. Yes? And so you say, let me go and check out something preliminary. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. And you're going to check it out and while you're there, you're watching and making observation and you're on the phone with your superiors. Mm -hmm. and you're exempted. Yeah, man, you yes? are. But nobody feels that you're a police officer and you can't have it on your phone. Somebody send it to you and you just have it there. And I send it yes? to other people. And I send it to other people and think you're going to escape. You're no. not escaping. No. Nope. So those for it's for my friends in the forest. Right. Take heed. Section 11 says, in relation to any proceedings in any court which arise out of any offense under this act, mm -hmm. no report of the proceedings shall reveal the name, okay. address, or school, or include any particulars calculated to lead to the identification of any child concerning the proceedings, either as being the person against or in respect of whom the proceedings are taken or, has, or as being a witness therein. You see what the advice I just gave to the lady? Mm -hmm. That although the person would be trying to help the child in, in finding the, the, the perpetrator by sending out the message, you're also exposing the child. And so, yes. So you have right. to be careful mm -hmm. about not exposing the child. Mm -hmm. And it says, no picture of any child in such proceedings shall be published. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. So nobody come court with your phone and talk about say, let me get a <laughs> quick picture. The police can lock you up. Mm -hmm. Don't bother stand up outside of, of court in the court in the in the parking lot mm -hmm. and say, let me wait out your Santa mm -hmm. as if DG catch you mm -hmm. or anybody is down there. Mm -hmm. You're going to jail because you're on the wrong side of this act. Yes. Don't do it. When any alleged child pornography is displayed for the purpose of any proceedings in any court in relation to an offense under this act, the court shall order to be excluded from the courtroom any person who is not an essential person to the matter. So that's an in-camera matter. It's an in-camera matter. So mm -hmm. you can't stay in there. All right, that's folks? True. So when matters like those are being dealt with at court, you're going to hear them say, um, all persons, say, yes. all persons that is not all persons kindly step on the outside. If you have other matters, please do not leave. You will call again shortly. There you but go. But you are not allowed to stay in court. You can't stay in there because it's a matter where the identity of the child mm -hmm. must be protected and the offender too must be yes. protected because it's an allegation. Right. All innocent right? until mm, proven. Innocent guilty. until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. Now, for the purposes of subsection two, the following are essential persons. So these are the persons who can stay. Parties to the proceedings and their legal representatives, the prosecutor, mm -hmm. the clerk, the prosecutor can be the clerk or the crown counsel, mm -hmm. a children's advocate or their representative, mm -hmm. a representative of the child development agency. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that, no. It's no. Child Protection and Family Services mm -hmm. Agency, a witness giving evidence, a person whose presence is, in the court's opinion, necessary or desirable for the proper conduct of the proceedings, and G, a person who applies to the court to be present and whose presence in the court's opinion would serve a proper interest of that would serve a proper interest of that person and not be prejudicial to the interest of any child described or depicted in the child pornography concerned whether or not that child can be identified from the child pornography. pornography. So those are the only persons, that folks, are allowed. who are allowed to be in the courtroom when a proceeding is being conducted mm -hmm. in respect of this act. Any person who publishes mm. any matter in contravention of this section commits an offense. So if you go, as I said, go take picture and mm -hmm. that sort of thing, yes? If you publish it, it's an offense and is liable upon summary conviction before a parish court to a fine not exceeding. Wow. Tell you. One million dollars. One million dollars? 
That's in how serious we are event. about protecting the child's identity, you know. One million dollars mm -mm. or in the fault of payment to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 12 months. 12 hard months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Section 12 speaks about the minister's authority to make regulations. Mm -hmm. And uh, section 13 speaks again about the minister's power yep. to amend the penalties. Mm -hmm. All right? So, and that, my friend, is the, is the entirety mm -hmm. of the Child Pornography Act. This elected who have hears. To hear, let, let them, them hear. hear. Now, if you're wondering where you can find this act, Google is your best friend. Um, <laughs> you can find it on Google. You can find it on the Ministry of Justice website. That's www.moj.gov.jm. Mm -hmm. You can find it there. You can have a read of it. Sit with your children. Yep. And read it to them. Explain it to them. Let them understand, especially your teenage boys and your teenage girls. Mm -hmm. Folks, don't bother feel like say They don't need the explanation. Sit and tell them. Because things you think they may not know, they very well know. No, yep. So you go and sit down with this, this act with them and explain to them the, 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 the pitfalls of not using social media responsibly. Responsibly. All right? No, I want to go a little bit to our friends on our style Facebook page, um, Cassie, my engineer. So if you can bring that up for us. We want to thank everybody on WhatsApp um, who has been with us. Well, we're going to go now to... We'll come back to them quickly. Yes, Let me speak to some of our friends. Can switch over quickly to our Facebook but, um, page. Uh, but while Cassidy is doing that, I could just take the time to say thanks to my... But while he's uploading Robert that. Harrington, see you as well. Just one, just no one mess with my boy. I, 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 I just... <laughs> <laughs> and I, he I says just where he's from. <laughs> All right, so I won't read that. All right. that. But I understand up. what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> while, mm -hmm. I, while that is coming up, though, let me just quickly say thanks to our kind sponsors, um, Native Audit Stage and Lighting, Braham Texaco and of course Task Property Appraisals Company Limited bringing quality service to you. Of course, MT Landscaping Services at Francis Lewis Boulevard, Queens, New York City. And uh, you can get him at 347 840 four six two three to see the from your castle and of course toy and nails at shop number six rosemary plaza mart bay at eight seven six four two six five zero six six and Mr. Errol Barnes, big up himself, of course, are also a very valuable person in the, um, in the North of the Law. Mr. Nicholas Chambers at Legal Chambers, 1 Arbor Street, that shop number 5 upstairs, Digicel, right in the town square. And you can call Mr. Nicholas Chambers at 876 392 All right, so let me see. 5115. Is what missed a while ago? Five one one five. We don't know who for number you're giving them. Five one one five. It's full for number that. Is that your number? No. Is that chambers. Thank God it's not my number. Me look funny good good. You see a young kid like you know. Well Anika. Well Anika. Um I see. Five one one. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Eight seven six three nine two five one one two. Oh God! You couldn't just correct me, cha. <laughs> five one one two. Um, so thank you very much, Mr. Nicholas BJ, Chamber. Thank <laughs> you for watching as well, and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, we hope that you continue to watch us. Um, we we we. Engineer, you think we're going to get to anybody up there? But it's six o'clock, so no. I don't know. Yeah. So I want uh, to say thanks to everyone who has joined us on Facebook, Facebook Live, on Stars FM Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Those who have also joined through DG's page have joined through my Facebook page as well. We want to thank you for having joined us and we look forward to having you next week. All right, quickly now, we see some people here. Robert Arrington, say big up Styles FM. Mm -hmm. And I thank no, just one mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, um, Malagrigan Parker, so I'm in Canada. I want to speak to someone about a situation in Negril. Okay, all right. We, we see speak we to you off the air. Right, that. Mm -hmm. all right. Um, and so we have Sam Lawrence. 
shells say present. Sam uh, Lawrence? No, Sam Lorraine. Look oh. here, though. Sam Lorraine. <laughs> if, I, if I see Mr. Sam Lawrence, I'm so, <laughs> my God. <laughs> All right, see if we can switch over back to the WhatsApp quickly. So, we're entirely out of town. We already see out of time rather we already say thanks to my kind sponsors want to big up everyone that has tuned in to us um maxine moreland from saint catherine said dg how are you and mr chambers dean we're fine thank you want to big up our friends up there in atlanta georgia mm -hmm. my very very good friends um 